no, no. See, it keeps, it keeps. See, this, this, this is Windows. It messes with my volume manually. So specific, even a toddler could understand, but not. In this short tutorial, you'll practice flying an ultralight aircraft through a marked course, just as in tutorial one. World record. The instructions are generalized to apply whether you're flying with a joystick, a universal controller, the mouse, or the keyboard. For details about using different types of controllers, refer to the quick reference card or to the briefing for this mission. Directly ahead of you is a series of large square gates to fly through. To get to the first gate, just climb. Gently pull back on the stick to raise the nose of the ultralight. This is easy. To go faster as you climb, increase the throttle. Push the throttle lever forward or press the F3 key. Um, uh active gates that you need to fly through are glowing green. Gates that aren't active or that you have already flown through are red. This is easy. The next gate will not highlight until you have passed through the current gate. If you lose sight of a gate, look around. Move the hat switch on top of your joystick or press and hold the space bar and move the mouse. Remember, you can review all the instructions given to you on the kneeboard. Just press Shift F10 and select the messages page. Another tip, press the P key to pause the mission. Press it again to resume. Good job negotiating gate one. Now fly through gate two. Better now? If I, if I full screen, it's not gonna work properly. I'm crashing. Okay, easy clap. Okay. See, now it's flashing. To gate three, push forward on the stick a bit to gently lower the nose. Slow down during the descent by reducing the power. Pull back on the throttle lever or press the F2 key. It's not stabilizing ever. Nice descent to gate three. Go. Now level off. Gently pull back on the stick. Notice that as you level off, the ultralight slows no, down. No! No, it's not leveling off! Set your speed it's not leveling off! Level. Gate four is next. To turn toward it, gently move the stick to bank the wings in that direction. Then center the stick. To stop turning, move the stick back to the right and roll the wings level. It's not! It's fucking not! In this tutorial, you'll oh, be learning please. how to take off and land on very short mountain air tall trees nearby. How do you see tutorials? It's very important to use the flaps during short takeoffs and landings. Flaps serve two purposes. They generate more lift. Hold the minus and they cause drag, which slows the plane down. See, all my audios go down off, as soon as I click a button. Uh, as, as, knot, as soon as I click in the game. The F7 key. If you want to watch how the flaps change the look of your wing, you can switch to spot view by pressing the F11 key. Press F9 to return to virtual cockpit view. To start the engine, press Control E. Try to take off when you reach 55 knots and climb out at 60 knots, which will give you the best angle of climb in this aircraft. Wait, the what? Pull back now to lift off. Great takeoff. Now that you're in the air, retract the flaps by pressing the F6 key. Your landing spot will be the lower loon airstrip to the south of your present position. It's very short and surrounded by hills, so it will be difficult to land on if you approach the runway from the wrong direction. F6, it's not fucking doing it. 
The best route to the Lower Loon is to follow the river valley rather than flying straight over the hills. This will allow for a shallower approach for landing. You can follow the waypoint markers if you want. What does that mean? I'm stalling. So how do you get more speed then? What do you mean stalling? I'm doing good, shut up. See, it's not, the stick is not turning! Oh, because you, you can only click it. Oh, but well, that's pretty cool. I can fly a fucking plane. I told you all motherfuckers, man, I can fly a plane. Look how beautiful that is. That's beautiful. Guys, if this is a real simulator, I can fly a plane in real life, right? Too low? I got you, Captain. I'm stalling. It's stalling. Now we need to land this bitch ass, right? We're about halfway to Lower Loon. This might be a good time to go over some bush flying tips. In real bush flying, you should always overfly the runway before landing to check the runway condition and to look for obstacles which could contribute to an unsafe landing. Even in flight simulator, it's a good idea to inspect a landing site before committing. Of course. Many of the mountain strips in this area are one way in, one way out approaches, and you only get one chance at the landing with no possibility of a go around. If you need to turn around within the confines of a valley or a canyon, you can perform a canyon turn by slowing the aircraft down and dropping the flaps. With this technique, you can minimize your turn radius as long as you keep the power up and stay above stall speed. As you approach Lower Loon, start slowing down early in preparation to land or to execute a canyon turn if you need to turn around. Guys, I'm rolling this game, dude. His mouse has stick? I don't believe that. That sounds like a that sounds like a disaster. I I'm stalling. Please. This is, guys, this is good flying. Oh my god. What a tough map to learn the fucking basics of. Holy shit, this is hard. This is 
beautiful. I mean, just hold. Nah, no, you can't just hold it for some reason. Oh wait, you can just hold it. No, you can't just hold it. Tapping is better. The mouse. We'll learn. We will learn the mouse after. We will learn the mouse after this. I'm not gonna risk my flight, dude. Fuck not you. Now that you're getting close to the airport, maintain 55 knots and fully extend the flaps by pressing the F8 key. Remember to increase what's power. What's 55 to knots? For the increased drag, what's a, what's 55 stop. knots? I'm going too fast. I'm lowering my fucking things. My fucking hand hurts, dude. I can't land this bitch ass, I'm gonna land this. Captain, we're going, we're going to land. We're not stalling, I don't think. Whew. What the fuck is this, hot trash? It's a flight simulator, dude. Relax, man. When approaching at more than 60 knots, you might not be able to stop before you reach the trees at the end of the runway. Go around and try it again. Go around, fuck off. I've had enough. I'm done.